my name is umar maimon welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are doing absolutely fine so in the last video we had discussed about designing and implementing a hub and spoke network in my hd wan scenario now in this video we are going to design and implement a regional mesh topology now when i talk about a regional mesh so let's talk about the default settings in your hd wan network so by default we have a full mesh scenario that means all the v edges have ipsec tunnel established with all the v all the other v edges in my network to simplify that i will say that v edge b1 over here has ipsec tunnels to v edge h1 it has ipsec tunnels to v edge h2 it has ipsec tunnels to v edge b2 and to b3 as well so if i try to ping let's say from my this particular network to this network it takes a direct hop now what i want to do today is i want to create a scenario such that i will separate these sites into regions so let's say i have a uh, four sites over here i have site 100 i have a uh, site 201 i have site 202 and site 203 now what i want to do is i want to create two regions so let's say uh, i will create one a uh, region which will have my site 100 and site 201 and my second region i'll use a different color over here second region will have site 202 and site 203 so let me uh, write it out over here so let's say my region 1 will be having a uh, site 100 and site 201 and my region 2 will be having a uh, site 202 and 203 now what i want to do is i want to create these two regions so, so that there is no inter region communication that means v edge b1 now will have ipsec tunnels only with v edge h1 and v edge h2 that is the site belonging to the same region and v edge b2 will have one tunnel with v edge b3 that means there is no inter region communication which is going to happen over here so this is my use case scenario and this is what i want to design before we go into the actual designing and the implementation of my regional mesh first we will verify the full mesh scenario so i will go ahead and check the tunnels which currently b1 is having so to do that let's go back to the vmanage let's pick up a uh, my branch 1 router and go and check the tunnels which it is having so going to the router we will go and click on tunnels and in tunnels if you see branch 1 has four tunnels over public internet that is to main 1 one tunnel with main 2 one with branch 2 and with branch 3 similarly over the mpls transport it has all those tunnels with the main one uh, with the main two with the branch two and with the branch three as well and if i try to reach let's say i try to reach my branch three so let's say uh, what uh, let's see what path it is taking over there so i'll take a vpn 10 i will choose a network over here and i will try to ping one of my destinations let's say i'll try to ping something behind branch two and let's simulate this seeing the results we see there is a direct connection So see the T log which is getting advertised that is 192.168.202.1 and 202.1 via both the transports MPLS and public internet. So the T log IP which is getting advertised from branch two. So this is the branch two system IP over here. Okay. So we, I have discussed about T logs in my previous video, so I won't go into that now. And now let's get ahead. Let's uh, get started with implementing my regional mesh topology. Again, this is a policy which is going to tweak the entire topology. And when we talk about policies which tweak the topology, we talk about centralized policies which are going to get applied on the VSmart. So let's design the policy first. So let's go down to policies, and we are in centralized policy. Let's add a policy. Now, when I want to add a policy, the first step is to create my groups of interest. So I have to create some site list over there. So I have created two site list. I have created a site for region one, that is hundred and two zero one. 
Let me just show you 100 and 201. And I have sites for region 2, that is site 202 and 203. So my groups of interest are ready. I'll click on next. And here in topology, I will add a topology section. So I will choose mesh. In the last video, when I was designing a hub and spoke network, I choose the hub and spoke option. And today I'm going to design a regional mesh. So I'll choose the mesh option. Now it is telling me to give it a name first. So let's say this is a policy uh, for regional mesh. So let's give it a name, regional mesh. I'll use the same name as the description. And for which VPN do I want to do it? Service VPN 10. Again, this uh, list has already been created in the past. So I didn't really uh, show in the list option where you have to create a VPN list. But if you want to know, so you can just go back or check the first one of my other videos where I have created a VPN list as well. Now I have to add a new mesh region. So I'll just uh, name it, let's say uh, region 1. So this is region 1. And the site list, so I will choose sites for region 1. That's it. Add. And I'll add another mesh region, that is my region 2. So our region uh, 2. And what sites do I have in my region 2? I also have a list, sites for region 2. I'll add this. That's it. Simple. Save the mesh topology. Once that is saved, click on next. I don't want to edit any of my traffic rules over here. So I'll just click on next and I'll give this policy my name. So I'll just give my policy a name of regional mesh. Regional mesh uh, policy. I'll use the same thing as my description. Policy is applied to the service VPN 10. That's it. I'll click on save policy. So once my policy is created, it's not activated on the vSmart. I see the activated status as false over here. I click on the option and push it to my available vSmart. So if you go back to the topology once, uh, just check the vSmart. The vSmart is having a system IP of uh, 1.0.0.12. That is one vSmart which I have in my network. So I'll go back and I'll activate this on the vSmart. I'll click on activate here. I'll wait for my policy to get pushed on the vSmart. And then again, we will do the post uh, policy check. That is, we will try to reach from B1 to B2. Now, again, I'll just explain the diagram once again. So here, if I now try to reach from VH B1 to B2, this communication is not permitted. My traffic should be black hole. So what is permitted now? I can reach between B2 and B3, so that communication is possible. And from B1, I can reach one of my networks, let's say this particular network, which is in the same uh, in the same region. So it's in site 100 and site 100 and site 201 belong to the same region. So I'll check my tunnels also and I'll check the connectivity as well. So we have discussed that and I think the policy has been pushed. Yes, the policy has been successfully pushed on my vSmart. Let's go back to monitor. Let's go to network. So we'll pick two routers over here. So first I'll show you on branch one and then I'll show you on branch two. So in the branch one router, first I will go and check the tunnels over there. Now if you see, only two tunnels are up. The state is showing up only for the tunnels which are going to main one and which are going to main two over both the transports. So via NPLS also and via the public internet as well. If you see the tunnel status for branch 2 and branch 3, the tunnel is not showing up. So that verified, let's go back to, uh, let's go to another uh, router. Let's say go to branch 2. And in branch 2, I'll check the same tunnels over here. So I see branch 2 router is having one tunnel with the branch 3 over public internet and one over the MPLS transport. Rest of the tunnels are now down. And to do one more check, I'll just go and simulate the flows. So we are in branch 2 right now. So I'll just choose VPN 10. I'll choose one of my interfaces there. And I'll choose the destination IP as 201.201. 201.201 is this particular network right here. 
So this is the network we are trying to reach. And as per our design, this network should not go through. This communication should not go through. So let's simulate. And you see the network has been, the traffic has been black hole. If I try to reach 203.203, .203, so that should pass through because it's in the same region. So you see 203.1, which is the system IP of branch 3 router. The communication is happening via both the public internet transport and the MPLS transport. Similarly, I'll go and choose branch 1 and I'll try to ping one of my networks in site 100. So I'll choose VPN 10 again. I'll choose my source IP and the source interface and I'll try to ping 172.17.100.1 and I'll simulate this and this communication should go through. Yes, see it is going through So 100.1 and 100.1 via both the transport that is public internet and MPLS. So 100.1 is the H1 router and 100.2 is the H2 router. So let's go and check this in the diagram again. Yes. So you have the H1 router as 100.1 and the H2 router as 100.2. Here I have mentioned all the system IP addresses. So what we intended to do is working pretty much fine. So this was another use case uh, for my HDWAN network wherein I can create topologies as and how I want it. So by default, it's a mesh network. I can simulate it to run as a hub and spoke network, which I had done in my previous video. And in this video, we implemented a regional mesh topology. And the beauty of HDWAN is you can even choose what VPNs you want to apply that topology to. So in my further videos, I'll try to add more VPNs, more service VPNs, and I'll try to simulate both the topologies. So in service VPN 10, I'll try to put in my hub and spoke and in service VPN 20, I will try to put in my regional mesh network. So that said, rest of the network looks pretty much fine. So this was the use case for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You can stay tuned to this channel for more videos on networking. Thank you for watching. Thank you.